How many animals find a home through your program, like, per year on average? Like, if you had to guess. Okay. And we had six thousand two hundred and thirty nine adopted. Six thousand what? Thirty nine. Two hundred and thirty nine. Oh, that's awesome. From our shelter, yes, yes. Between our two shelters and dogs and the kitty. And uh, this kind of leads into the next question: uh, What happens to the animals who like don't find a home that year? Yeah, that's what Yeah, that's so, uh, great. We've had dogs that have been on our adoption floor for three to six months, depending on. Uh, we had one last year that was with us for quite a while, and they had Baxter. Um, and he was just a black dog that uh, was a lot of our pit bull mix. And so it's really hard to get him adopted just because of those things, and he was also hard work positive. Uh, but we treat hard work positive dogs once they are adopted through the PA Animal Hospital. No, that's um, perfect, actually. Okay, but however, um, if, say, a puppy comes in with Carbo, um, rather than putting that puppy through the stress and possibly any more pain that they're going through, we do use nice for diseases like that. Um, that can also shut down a, uh, an entire shelter, Carbo uh, can. Um, so, in those situations, we, we do euthanize. Um, so, Rather than spreading it throughout the shelter and getting other dogs sick, um, so and that, that only dog if the sick. animal's like really sick do you use nice? Yeah, specifically Carbo. I mean, that's one of the biggest problems that we see. Um, well, not us personally, but in general, we see that the shelter sees Carbo typically. Cargo? Cargo? Yeah, Cargo. P A R B O. P A R. Okay. Also, there's a, um, and, and there's another disease that some dogs can get called distemper. Um, I don't know if you saw the story about six months ago about the tigers and they want to wipe us to get distemper. Uh, Specifically, once it gets to a certain point, it's durable uh, if you don't catch it in time. And so that's another one that uh, is really, really hard to treat and uh, usually puts the animals through more suffering than, uh, than before, so uh, it's really hard to treat this as well. Oh, I can imagine. Um, what are the qualifications needed to adopt a pet? Like, do you check on uh, the people who are trying to adopt to make sure that they are most likely going to be loving pet owners? So people come in and we do require Um, and what are the, like for volunteers, what are the qualifications of someone who wanted to be a, become a volunteer for the SPCA? Oh, uh, they would go to SPCA.org slash volunteer, uh, where they can contact 
called Door Force Support Team 7722. Um, the volunteer program just requires that if you are 16 or younger, uh, I believe you have to be at least 12 years old to volunteer. Um, and so if you're 16, so if you're between 12 and 16, um, you need to have a parent with you. And that just changed because it used to be 18. And so um, now they need to have a parent, or they don't have to have a parent with them if they're 16 or older. Um, and they'll come in and they will actually do a background check on volunteers. Um, and we pay $35 and for the background check is for a t-shirt that you'll get. And you just do a training hour, um, some animal handling training. So that way you can uh, walk dogs or play with dogs outside. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. It's really, really easy to get involved. Oh, it sounds... Um, we do that both our shelter. Yeah, it sounds... Actually, great. Um, sorry, I just got two more questions, and I'll be able to let you go. Um, um, how do you handle like animals with special needs or special diseases, like heartworms, blind, deaf? I know you brought that up earlier, but um, if you can just go through that, like how you handle animals, like how any kind of uh, help needs. Yeah. Oh, again, that's wonderful for our foster program. We actually had a dog that came in um, that got hit by a car, and their owner not afford to uh, get it treated at a veterinary clinic, and so they brought their dog in to him. Uh, he was heartworm positive, had a heart murmur, uh, a heart murmur, I'm sorry, and uh, also a broken leg. So he has been in foster for a couple of weeks now, and actually, uh, the fostering him, we call it foster failure, um, is going to adopt him because um, a lot of times people will come to become so attached to their animal that they will end up adopting them. Uh, I really appreciate it. Don't look down